Hey guys, so it is already time for my monthly favorites and I am so excited to show you guys my monthly favorites this month because I have a ton of things to show you guys. Also, I hope that the lighting is getting a little bit better. Um, lately, I have been getting too excited and putting my ring light or my lighting too close and a lot of you guys have been complaining that I look glow in the dark or that I'm trying to wash myself out on purpose. None of that is true. If anything, I wish I was more tan. So I'm hoping that this lighting will show a little bit more of my true coloring. So yeah, with that being said, I'm going to jump into my monthly favorites. So the first thing that I have to show you guys, okay, usually I try to not over wear things if I'm going to show them to you guys in videos like clothing and shoes and stuff like that because, you know, I like, I don't want you guys to see things beat up. But ever since I got these shoes, I just, I've worn them almost every single day since and I love them so much that I got them in two different colors. So they are these sandals right here. Actually, it might be better if I just hold up one. And I absolutely love them. They're not really like a gladiator style, but they're kind of like a spin on the gladiator type of sandal. They also lace up in the front, which I really like because a lot of sandals that are out right now have that little zipper in the back. And yes, that is convenient, but I just love the look of a tie. I think it makes it a little bit more casual, and I love wearing these with anything. They can go with a dress, with capris, with shorts, with skinny jeans, just about anything. So these are from just, ah, <laughs> these are from, <laughs> okay, sorry about that. These are from Just Fab, and I also got them in the camel color, and I can't even tell you guys which ones I like more. I kind of alternate them on a daily basis, and every single day since I got these, I don't want to wear anything else. So I love them. I think that they are so cute in both colors I will try to list the name for you guys and find out if they are still available but you guys know that I love just fab and every single month I normally pick shoes I know that they have clothing now that you can pick from and bags but just something about the just fab shoes they're just really good quality and I love them I have a huge collection of them I'm gonna just pop those over there okay so the next thing that I want to show you guys are these shorts from Romwe and you guys my longtime viewers will know my history with shorts I'm trying to button these up as I speak without ruining my nails. Okay, I'm not gonna button them up. Uh, anyway, I don't wear a lot of shorts because even though I'm really thin, I, I look, good, thin girls get cellulite too and I'm not ashamed, I'm not embarrassed. I have cellulite, like little dimpling or rimple, rimples, ripples right underneath my booty area. It's just not as firm and smooth as I would like it and I know that's partially due to me slacking on the working out and snacking constantly but anyway I have been on the lookout for shorts that kind of cover that area and I have found a couple of different shorts and I have shown them to you guys throughout my videos but one pair of shorts that I have been having a really hard time finding that are on the longer side are high-waisted shorts because a lot of them are really high-waisted and they are really short and they like they're cut off and they show your booty cheeks hanging out and I don't like that so I found these by Romwe and I'm hoping that you guys can see the design. It kind of has like an Aztec design and they are cut off and they are high waisted, but they are not so, so short that your booty hangs out. So I really like these and yeah, that is the print and in the back it just kind of has that fading going on. So these are really cute and these are from Romwe.com. And next what I have to show you guys is my favorite um, toothpaste at the moment. I did a whitening video for you guys where I told you that I normally rinse with hydrogen peroxide and then I put baking soda on top of my toothpaste to really give my teeth like a really brightening, whitening effect. And that's every single time that I brush my teeth. Every single day in the morning, every single day at night, hydrogen peroxide before I brush and then baking soda on top of my toothpaste until I found this toothpaste which was actually recommended to me by one of you guys and I am so 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 thankful to you for that okay I thought that I was not recording for a second so it is by Arm & Hammer and it is called the Advanced White Stain Defense Extreme Whitening Toothpaste and I don't know if you guys can see in the corner because my camera does not autofocus but it says baking soda and peroxide so it has those two ingredients already in here I don't have to worry about doing those two steps and you know a lot of toothpaste say that they have these ingredients in them and then you don't really see any results this one I have seen results with and it tastes, alright this is a good thing and a bad thing. 
It actually tastes salty, so you know that there's baking soda in there. But anyway, when I used to sprinkle baking soda on top of my toothpaste, it would make it taste salty anyway. So it's just something that I kind of put up with. It's not very pleasant, but it really does brighten up my teeth. So I like this. This is $2.99, so it's not very expensive just because it says extreme whitening. So I've been really loving this toothpaste. Next, I have been loving orange lips. I don't know what it is. I'm just really into the trend of orange lips. So these are two products that I've picked up recently. The first one is by Revlon, and it is a Revlon lip butter, and it is in the shade Juicy Papaya. And basically, it's just a coral orange shade. I have worn these in my past video. And then I also have this lip gloss by Galactic, and it is in the shade Orange Twist, and it's a really pretty orange lip gloss. Usually, I'm not big on lip gloss. This is a long wearing gloss, so I really like that. And there we go. If you guys have any recommendation for orange lipsticks, especially long wearing lipsticks, please do let me know because that is my obsession of the moment. Next, I have two misses, and I know I did discuss with you guys in my last monthly favorites. If you guys want me to continue including misses, even though I feel like I don't know, I feel bad about it, but most of you guys, if not every single one of you guys said, please keep including the products that you don't like because we want to know what to look out for. So sadly, they are two products from my last season's box, and one is the Eco Tools sponge, and a lot of you guys wanted to know about this. Um, I was so excited about this too, and I really don't like it because the material that the sponge is, it's not like the Beauty Blender material, it's more of like those cheap sponges that you get from the 99 cent store and basically this absorbs anything that I put on it so I tried to use this for foundation I tried to use this for concealer I tried to use this for cream blush and every single thing that I tried to use this for it just soaked it completely up it did not blend out nicely and this is by yeah eco tools I don't recommend this it was a miss and the other one sadly is the lemon deodorant cream I was really excited for this because the smell is absolutely amazing and I'm gonna see if I can find a different way to use this. I think somebody suggested using this as like a foot cream because you know sometimes you wear uh, sandals that kind of give you a little bit of friction and causes blisters and I heard that you can use deodorant to prevent that but as far as using this as an actual deodorant it didn't work and um, I don't know what else to say about that it just didn't work. Okay next I have two things to show you guys that are kind of like electronic related. So the first thing that I have is a new case for my laptop and this is by a brand called Jealous Skin and basically what it is it's just a gel cover and I just have a whole bunch of pictures I made this little collage on my computer and sent it over and yeah it's just people that mean something to me I have some pictures of just me I have my dog I have my parents some pictures of me and Richie some pictures of my sisters um, other family members and I really love this because I was looking at a lot of cases and I didn't really find anything that just spoke to me and this means a lot to me because it's all the people that I love all the people that I care about and it was relatively inexpensive as well and then I have a case to go with it and this is from a company called Snuffed and this is a like a zipper um, laptop bag and with this one it's kind of like the same thing but on a smaller scale it just has six pictures on it and um, it protects my laptop case when I'm traveling. So I have this picture of me and my sister and my mama. I have me and Richie, me and Richie, me and my sister Melanie, me and my baby Chihuahua Nana, and then another picture of me and Mel. So yeah, I really like this. I have used it a handful of times already. It comes in really handy. I will link both of those companies down below if you guys are interested. Okay, next I have some bronzers and these are by Milani. I've been really into bronzers lately just because I feel like it's warming up and it makes me want to have like a golden glow. So these are two of my favorites. One is by, no, I just said they're by Milani, but one is named Fantastic Illuminator. And it looks like this, really pretty golden glow. And the other one is Fantastic Summer's Kiss. And this one is a little bit more on the bronzy side. Let me try to open this without breaking my nails. So I'm gonna hold them up side by side. This one is Summer's Kiss, and this one is Fantastic Illuminator. And you guys can see they're just a really nice shimmery bronzer. And yeah, both of these are really nice as highlighters or as blush just on the cheek, or even just as bronzers, like to have a little bit of a sun kiss glow. I also really like to use these as eyeshadow, so they're very versatile. They're super, super pigmented, just one streak, and you can see that. The other thing that I've been really loving from Milani is these 
12 hour eyeshadow shadow eye stick and I will show you guys my favorite one. I really like the shimmery ones just because I feel like that's what I gravitate more towards. So right here I have sand dunes and golden bronze. I love these so much. They are so pigmented and I'm telling you guys that they stay put. You try to rub them off after they set. They're not going anywhere. You really need a baby wipe or a makeup remover in order to take them off. They do also come in non-shimmery matte colors. Here's the black and the brown one and they're very pigmented. You guys can see like all I need is a little line like that and it's it's gonna go. I don't even have to apply any type of pressure. Another one that's really, really gorgeous for the inner tear duct is this one right here. This one is called Almond Cream. This one is a matte, but it's a very light shade, so you guys can see that. I am planning on doing a summer tutorial coming out for you guys with all waterproof makeup that you can go to the beach with, that you can go to the pool with, that is completely summer proof. So if you guys want me to feature these in that video, make sure to thumbs up this video so I know. And speaking of waterproof makeup, I've also been loving these Girlactic Eye Glazes. And it's the same thing, they're just waterproof eyeshadow. This one is in a cream formula. So so I have Glam and then the lighter one is Glamour. The reason that I love these is because they are budge proof and once you put them on they are not going anywhere. You guys can see that no matter how hard I rub my hand these are absolutely going nowhere. They're not going to smudge, they're not going to fade. No matter how much pressure I apply they're not going anywhere. If you ask me, waterproof makeup is like a must have for the summer. And last but not least I have a hair product that I've been using. This is by Shiloh. It's called the Shine Restoration Oil. I will actually read to you guys all the things that it claims. It smooths, softens, adds shine, enhances color, increases hair manageability, removes frizz, and it's also a heat protectant. So I have been using this every day after I get out of the shower on damp hair because you guys know what I put my hair through recently and we're just not going to talk about that because that was kind of like a complete waste of time and now my hair is damaged for nothing. So I have been trying to restore my hair and kind of get it back to its healthy stage. So I do apply this on my damp hair, but you can also apply it onto dry hair as well. And yeah, so that's pretty much it guys. I hope that you enjoyed this monthly favorite. If you have any recommendations for me of what you want me to pick up or what you want to see a review on or do something that you think that I would like, please do let me know. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all very soon. Mwah.